What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over, my chair's wiggling, how you guys can actually, or like what it takes to actually start making a thousand plus a day on Shopify dropshipping. Uh, whether you're dropshipping from Oberlo, uh, print on demand, any of these methods really work because ultimately it, matter, it, it matters on marketing, right? What are you actually doing to get your site in front of people? What are you doing to get eyeballs to your website? What are you doing to attract, you know, warm, uh, interested, you know, relevant clients, clientele, people, people guys, to your website, right? Cause it doesn't matter on the back end what you're doing, right? Print on demand, Shopify dropshipping, uh, arbitrage, whatever you're doing, right? It's how you're actually making, or how you're actually making that traffic come to your site. How are you attracting people to your site, right? And there's a few different ways, but right now, um, as you guys will see in the screen share that's going on, um, basically I wanna walk you guys through just a few things. First of all, like relevant sales, okay? And as you guys can see, basically for this entire month here, um, that's on the screen, right? It's, we're, we're basically hitting a minimum a thousand a day, right? We, we see eight thousand dollars a day, six thousand a day, whatever it is. But I want to give you guys a baseline, right? So, like, what does it take to make at least at least a thousand a day, right? Again, it, it also varies um, on you know your product. So basically, are you high ticket? Or are you low ticket? Right? There's different ways. If you're low ticket, then obviously you're going to be winning in volume, right? Where you want more orders. And then if you're high ticket, obviously there's going to be a little bit less orders. But you know, obviously you're going to be paying a little bit more um, in terms of like paid advertising. Stuff like that, right? So, what do you actually need to do, right? There's a few things that I like to do for my sites, um, just like when I start scaling them, right? So, one, Facebook ads, okay? There's, there's, there's multiple like things within Facebook ads, though, right? So, one, you want Instagram sponsored posts, guys. So, these are basically just, you know, when you on Instagram, they'll see a picture or video of your product while they're scrolling down, it'll be a sponsored post, okay? That right there can attract, you know, warm, warm audiences, okay? But then again, it's like, how are you actually targeting? Your people, right? Because again, anyone can throw an ad. I'm sure some of you guys watching this right now have thrown ads out there and not seen a return. You've thrown out there and, and and you're not getting anything out, right? And it's not necessarily your fault, but it's just how you're going about actually telling Facebook what to do, right? So you're, you're telling Facebook, hey, I want you to target this group of people, you know, 18 to 24, whatever you think your audience is, right? And then from there, you're gonna try and funnel them. But what most people do, right? Most of you guys don't do is you don't have enough ads, you don't have enough target, you're not experimenting enough, okay? I've seen really successful people, I've seen really successful students, right? What they do, some of them have almost 50 different ads running at one time, 50 guys. Okay, do you see how relevant it is to experiment? And on top of that, it's not just baseline ads, okay? You basically want certain ads that are gonna attract new people to basically like funnel people in. You wanna see who's relevant, who's interested in the product, right? So for instance, you guys, like here's literally some stuff that you guys can take away from this video and apply it literally right after watching this. Say for instance, you start two different ads, okay? Now with these ads, you're basically gonna just try and get them to your site, right? You want them to view content, okay? View it, like a product on your site, view your website, something like that, okay? Because it shows curiosity when they go from the ad to your website, okay? Now, from there, you have two ads that, again, that are, that are running for that view content. And then you start two more ads, okay? So now you have two, now you have four in total, okay? Again, you're testing, so you can do a $5 daily budget, whatever you're doing, okay? And I don't know what your budget is, obviously, if you can afford more, do more. Um, but then from there, right, you have two additional ads. And from there, you're actually going to create an audience from the people who are viewing that content, okay? Again, you're gonna create an audience from the people viewing that content and then target them for conversions, okay? Or add to carts even, okay? All right, so then now you wanna, again, did you see how it's kind of funneling in? So it's literally like a funnel like this, okay guys? Literally what you're doing is you're taking two ads up top that are gonna to gather this broad range of people and try and bring them in, okay? And you're actually gonna see who's interested, who's actually viewing the content. Then your second tier of ads is what's gonna, like that, that kinda of like narrows it down more. So the people that already viewed the content, that's who you're sending these ads out to. And then now you wanna try and get them to add to cart, right? So basically add that product to their cart or purchase, right? So again, you're, you're basically funneling it lower and lower and lower. So say for instance, you have two ads that are just for add to cart. You do that. Then you have a third tier, right? People that add it to cart, you create an audience from that from, from that audience, again, you have your Facebook pixel on your Shopify site. That's how you're like be, being able to like make these audiences, okay? From there, from the add to cart, you're gonna basically make two more ads that now are just gonna target those people that added to cart, and then you're targeting them for purchases, right? Conversions on your website. They actually go through and buy the product, okay? Now, that's one group of thing. The next thing you wanna do, right, is create lookalike audiences. So now, the people that viewed content, you're gonna create a lookalike audience for them. Boom, now you have now, now, you, now you have a funnel here and a funnel here, okay, with lookalike audiences. So now you have lookalike audiences for that. And then, second tier, right, you have lookalike audiences for the people that added to cart, right? So that, again, 
Basically, you're gonna walk out of here this video if you follow everything I do with almost like four or five different funnels. Four or five different these things I'm doing with my hands, okay? So the first thing is all organic, right? You're literally paying for cold traffic to your site to see who's interested, all right? The second one, right? You create a lookalike audiences of the people who are viewing your content. So now you're gonna run a funnel for that, okay? Now, the third funnel is a lookalike audiences for the people that added to cart. Right, so now that's your funnel. The fourth funnel, guys, is the people that look like a look like audience for the people that actually purchased. Okay, thank you, my funnel for that. And again, guys, there's all these different things going in place, going in place. Again, it can get a little bit pricey depending on your budget and if you're just getting started with drop shipping, right? Because you know, five dollars minimum daily with you know, four, six, six ads here, six, 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 whatever you're doing, it's uh, 24 different ads, five dollars a day, guys. That's I mean, it can get kind of expensive if, if you don't have a lot of money to play around with in the beginning, right? So, again, guys, that's just basically a, a quick way to test, right? And again, uh, I haven't done much on the screen share, I apologize, but literally, I'm just showing you guys that, hey, you know, you can you can get really good results, you know, like making these funnels, right? And again, it's like, oh, what do I use my ad for? Like, what do I actually, like, post or things, right? And again, if you guys have been watching me, you know content is king, right? I preach content. You need really quality content to actually get people to convert. And again, you don't need it, right? But if you have it, it will make your life so much more easier, okay guys? So again, good quality pictures, uh, lifestyle videos or videos showcasing the product, how people use the product, how it can solve a problem that they're facing, whatever they're doing with it, right? Uh, it's just a matter of having a high quality content, not using these blurry, pixelated, crappy stock images or supplier photos that you guys get half the time. Um, Small things like that, guys. But again, I want you guys to walk out of this video with this idea of, hey, I can create these different funnels, funnel people in, right? And then, boom, I'm getting orders, I'm getting add to carts, I'm getting traffic now, all right? And then from there, guys, even from there, there's so many more things you can do. Now you can retarget, right? The people that add it to cart, you can retarget them on a different level, right? Instead of just making it, like, like adding down to the funnel, you just have a whole nother funnel of just retargeting ads, right? So again, guys, there's so much potential that you guys can do and so much potential you can experiment with. And just, just to give you guys an insight, right? I recently got off the phone with a uh, with a marketing agency that contacted me because they want to run my own Facebook ads for some of my shops, and they were telling me that basically their goal is to scale my sites to sixty, ninety thousand dollars a month in ad spend, right? So they want me spending sixty thousand or ninety thousand a month just on on Facebook ads, on AdWords ads, all that kind of stuff to get an insane ROI, right? And I was like, I was just going back and forth with them, just talking, kind of like, obviously I want to pick their brain too to see what they know that I don't know because my mentality is like I can learn from every single person in the world. But they were telling me that, hey, they, they have almost, um, basically what they do is they have five or six different funnels, but in each of those funnels, they have a hundred ads. A hundred ads in each different funnel, guys. See, mine only had six. Okay, guys, I, that's just, I want you guys to realize that there are really, really top tier marketers that they have a bunch of ads running. Okay, that's how they experiment. That's how they know what bites. And then when they see something that has really quality results, then you scale that one up. Okay, you, you literally duplicate that ad, increase the budget, and you have it like go. But basically, just you know, as an update, as a little plug, literally a free plug for you guys. I'm already documenting the zero to one k challenge in a week with Shopify drop shipping. That whole series is going to be live very, very soon. And then there'll be literally a zero to one k challenge. That's blueprint blueprint program that you guys can hop into for free. Okay, link is in the description below. Very first link to actually hop on the wait list, um, so you guys can actually be the first ones to go through it. Because I feel like if I can get you know twenty thousand people through it. Uh, things could you know happen with the market right so a bunch of stuff like that guys so basically wait list down below to be like the first people that to get you know the zero to one k free blueprint and challenge after you guys go through that challenge there is an invite only zero to ten k uh, challenge group that I'm working on with already. I already have beta testers. Um, basically, that's just helping you guys scale, right? Zero to one K is basically showing you guys the fundamentals, and basically, this is how you earn money on Shopify. This is how you earn money drop shipping, right? Zero to ten K is how you actually blow things through the roof with ads, with paid ads, and lots of paid ads. Okay, so that's that, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, don't forget to like. I really, really, really appreciate that when you guys you know show your support and love. And don't forget to comment any questions. If you guys do this and you like come back here with results, let me know how it goes. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e commerce related from the mastery course, free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.